which made Guy Ritchie very fucking lucky because I know in the industry, um, when somebody reads a screenplay, if it's not tip top, if the typos and everything are not, you know, already corrected, um, they're just going to fucking toss your shit in the trash and be like, whatever, you know. Nobody's going to take you seriously if you don't have a, like a clean screenplay, clean vision of whatever you're saying. So he got real lucky with this. But yeah, that was the wife of Sting who basically made this movie happen in the first place. And then he got Sting to be in it. So that's cool. It's insane. <laughs> uh, next up, Brad Pitt loved Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels so much that he called up Guy Ritchie as he's actually known to do throughout his career when he watches a movie for himself and he loves it so much he finds out who you know who the director is calls him up and talks about it with them uh, uh, as he did with guy Ritchie, which uh is the big reason why he would um he would come out in guy Ritchie's next um film snatch which was re- released in 2000 which he's you know brad pitt's always great but he's really good in snatch as a you know, as you would expect. <laughs> classic. Yeah. Classic, my dude. Um, by casting Jason Statham and Vinnie Jones, uh, Richie opened them up to a worldwide audience as Statham was little more than a street hustler selling fake perfume and jewelry to get by while Vinnie Jones was uh, a football player, as Diego talked about earlier in the in the episode. Um, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but Guy Ritchie was actually married to Madonna for several years. Uh, they are divorced now, I believe, but um, she actually helped. She loved the soundtrack to this film in particular so much that she asked to um, to be able to release it um, in the States uh, with her label Maverick, I think it's called. <laughs> A TV show called Lockstock was produced in the UK and... Um, in 2000 in late 2000 although it didn't feature any of the film's original cast and lasted only a mere seven episodes that's including the pilot Uh, i can see that um the original ending was a lot more open-ended which led uh guy to come up with a new more in-depth ending the one that we got you know in the in the film um, they actually had to do this months after uh, production had wrapped, which um, I don't think you really can notice that. They actually did a good job at like keeping the continuity um, together, where that's not um, that's not an issue. And then not in, noticeable. Yeah, at all. I don't think. Um, which is great because I feel like the whole. In my opinion, the whole movie, the whole payoff is watching everything spiral out of control at the end, you know? Yeah. So the fact that that wasn't there is uh, is wild. But I'm glad. Um, so kudos to whoever those people in the screenings were that made him change the ending. That's awesome. <laughs> In my uh, my final swan fact of the evening, Tom Cruise, of all people, went to a, pr- a promotional screening of the film with a bunch of executives and investors and whatnot. And um, I guess at when the credits rolled at the end, he got up on the on the um, where the where the screen was, and he was like, "Yo, this is one of the best movies I've seen in years. If you guys don't buy this shit right now, you're fucking dumb." So. A bunch of those people, yeah, a bunch of those people invested in the movie just based on Tom Cruise's love for it right there. So kind of in a, in a weird way, he's responsible for the success of Lockstock. <laughs> Damn. A lot of that's Hollywood. crazy, dude. A lot um, of Hollywood. That's crazy. That's like the pinnacle of Hollywood right there. What does he say in that recording recently? Where he said, "I don't want to ever fucking see it again, you motherfucker." So. Yeah. <laughs> from, from everybody, <laughs> you too, and you, and you. I think it's, I think it's great that um, he. 
I mean, that gives me a lot more kudos. I don't know about the Scientology shit, but that, that whatever. <laughs> I'm glad uh, you circled back I mean, and covered that up there. Great. Great job. <laughs> um, I never forget. People don't forget. Um, <laughs> you know, but that gives me, that gives, I give a lot of kudos to Cruz, even that when he said that. And on top of like hearing this fact, it's just like made me be, it's it just, I, I, I like him even more because it, it shows that he's an actual uh, movie goer and he actually wants to find the best and new thing that's around, you know? Yeah, just like keeping an open eye out for, for talent, you know? And not yeah. every, not everybody cares to do that, especially when you have fuck you money like him. He probably already had it back then, even, you know? Yeah, and, 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 and dude, like, that's the thing about... Um, about the every industry they always try to keep the, the the certain people on top and then not give everybody kudos and it shouldn't be like that we should always have like if we have a clout or whatever we should always try to look for the next thing that's coming up and give them a shout you know because you never know a person could be turn could make a potentially cool thing and then help and then you know thank you you know or do the same thing for somebody else yeah that's the thing i've noticed um within the past decade or so a lot of big names are going out and they're trying to produce stuff that they believe in whether it be indie whether it be bigger pictures you know for example brad pitt was an, uh, one of the main producers for Moonlight. Moonlight's a beautiful movie, but you would never think that Brad Pitt yeah. would even know what yeah. Moonlight was. You know what I mean? So that's awesome. Or uh, another great example, the original John Wick. They made it for a little bit of money. They didn't think anybody was going to care. Eva Longoria produced that, and then it was a monster hit. But who would have thought Eva Longoria would give a shit about John Wick? You know what I mean? It's crazy. No. <laughs> But, uh, all right, James, what are we talking about next week? Have you made up your mind? I don't know if fuck it, we'll do Sunshine. Sunshine's on Hulu, so we can all see it. Uh, okay, hell yeah. It's a good one. I like it. Um, I love the score in that movie. Uh, I love the cast. Check it out. It's on Hulu, so you can watch it before we review that one. Nice. For sure, Sunshine. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a minute. It looks good, dude. Do we have any questions for James? Where can our listeners uh, find us if they're stumbling upon this podcast? Uh, Let them know uh, what we got going on, man. So, uh, if you're just like Wes said, stumbling upon this podcast, uh, we are available on pretty much every single platform that plays podcasts, whether it's iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, um, uh, Spreaker, Stitcher, uh, YouTube, um, uh, a, a plethora of other uh, platforms. And uh, hopefully, if you enjoyed what you're listening to right now, um, uh, take a gander at our uh, at our previous episodes. We have a whole bunch that you can choose from uh, through that archive. Uh, g- give us a five stars, a thumbs up, a positive review. If you do have the time, uh, we would really appreciate that. Uh, hopefully you're able to pass this along to to friends or coworkers or family members that you think would enjoy this. Uh, share a link, uh, post it on your Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Um, and we do have an Instagram that you can actually get in contact with us. Uh, get in contact. Comment us through there. <laughs> um, it's at drop the mic underscore podcast, where me and Wes are both attached to that. You can contact us there uh, through DM, through comments. We post our weekly Wex. We um, uh, post our the movie focus. Um, pretty much, that's about it. Um, hopefully, you can uh, tell us a movie that you want us to do. If you'd like, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Any uh, any final words for uh, Lockstock? Um, anybody who's listening to this, if you you know went the entire show uh, and you haven't seen the film or you're wondering where you can watch it, it is on Prime. If you if you missed out on that um, section, so check it out on Prime. 
assuming you have yeah. that. Um, La- my last words for Lockstock is I feel like we didn't ruin the movie. Like, we didn't spoil anything. Um, we mostly talked about Guy Ritchie and his, like, film filmography and all that. Um, but I think that's a good bridge to talk about him because we're introducing this one. So whoever's fresh listeners and whoever's fresh to Lockstock, check that out, like Wes said. And it's really dope. Uh, um, very underrated. If not, it's still highly rated. Uh, obviously, Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise like this one. So, Tom Cruise like this one. Yeah. So, yeah. Check out Lockstock. Man. That's my ending for that. Now that uh, my sinus infection has gone away completely, completely, I will start recording some rude behavior stuff. Uh, as people have already asked me, uh, what's going on with your behavior? Can I be on the show? And, um, you know, even coordinating with, uh, Adrian, uh, it's a little tough, but, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go solo this season, just this season alone, uh, just because of COVID stuff and everything. But, um, yeah, so you'll start seeing some, uh, new episodes soon, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your fan, your fan, your fans saying you're slacking, dog. You gotta get on that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, I got, uh, uh, I've got asked a, a several times by different people about what's going on with root behavior, and um, obviously they ask about drop the mic. They love the show, but they're asking me a little bit more of uh, root behavior now. So I am, um, I will oblige a lot of people by releasing an episode soon. So be on the lookout for that. And same as always for me, it should be gathering a few beats and putting stuff together. And hopefully we get more music on the podcast. That'd be nice, too. Nice. Switching it around. And, yeah. How about you? What about you, James? What about you going to release the sticker info? No sticker. Yeah. Um, stay on the lookout. Um, I know uh, what's, we're going to be releasing that pretty soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within the next couple of days, if not sooner, keep in, uh, keep your eyes peeled. Maybe it might be already out by the time this is released. You never know. Hey, hey. It could happen in a week. As we have seen this whole year. But that's about it. I don't really have any, uh, any, anything new. I'll put on some more, more stuff. I'm going to be showing Wes here uh, sometime in the near future, probably within the next... Maybe within the next couple hours. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. My man. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for uh, for me. I don't have anything new. Yeah, sounds good. How's the babies doing? Uh, they're uh, mm-hmm. they're great. Yeah, they um, Logan is uh, he's a gigantic baby. He's wearing like size six, like six month old stuff now, and he's three. He's just three months. <laughs> So, uh, damn, bro. My kid needs to chill out. <laughs> damn, bro. Creating mutants over there? What the fuck? Um, uh, gathering the next man? Gathering the next man over there? Uh, like gifted children. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, dude. It's always great to hear, you know, your children doing well and stuff. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> nice, man. Until next time, we're going to talk about uh, All right. Sunshine, right? A little sunshine. 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 <laughs> Walking in okay. the sunshine. But yeah, I'll see you Good guys fun. next week. Take care, guys. Good fight. It was fun. Good, Good fight. Night. Good night. Oh, see see you. Out, dude. See Stay you. safe out here, for real. No joke. Where did you get these? A fucking museum? Nick the Greek. How much do you part with? 700 for the pair. Drachmas, I hope. I'd feel safer with a chicken drumstick. These are gonna do more harm than good. Jesus, Tom. Do these work? I don't know. They look nice, though, don't they? I rather like them. Oh, that's top of the list of priorities, that is. Ladies. Back to more important issues, if you don't mind. We have only got two real guns. Apparently that's what they are. So we find a good place to hide next door. We wait till it sounds like the right time, then we jack in the...